For this TA Tech Tip, I'm going to show you how to collect and analyze the data for cell constant and temperature for a Discovery DSC. To uh, set up and, and analyze the calibration data for Discovery DSC, um, if you're going to do temperature and cell constant, you need to make sure that you click on the calibration button. When you do that, you get to the global calibration window. If you're going to choose temperature or cell constant, um, in this case we'll choose cell constant you need to make sure that you select new to collect new data. In this window you'll see that you can enter in your operator and project name. Um, in this case our reference material is going to be indium. So as long as you choose the correct material you'll have your experiment parameters set up uh, correct for that particular material. Uh, make sure that you choose the correct pan number, make sure that you choose your, the correct sample weight, um, and pan mass, sample pan mass, and reference pan mass should be uh, selected through your, your reference pan type. So in this case, we're going to be using T0 aluminum. When you have all the items here entered in correctly, uh, you can either automatically run it, choosing the run button. You can queue it in the running queue, pushing the queue, and you can throw it into the design view by throwing it into the to design button. In this case, we'll put that particular experiment over into the running queue. Once you hit the button, it will prompt you that it's going to move to the running queue. Once there, it will allow you to run that experiment. Now once the indium is run, it should automatically open in the results pane, but if not, you can open up that data file. In this case, we will run um, indium, can open up the data file, and uh, it should plot out the data according to the uh, calibration parameters. In this, at this point, you can then select that run item, go to instrument, the calibrate button should become active. If you select temperature cell constant, it will automatically go through the calibration and give you the output parameters from that analysis. You can save and apply this or just save the results to be applied later for your calibrating the DSC. If you'd like to see how this particular data set was analyzed by the software, choose Edit Show Details, then hit the Go To button, and it will open up the plot and show you exactly which uh, data limits it used and the values that it collected from that particular run. Uh, this will also uh, enter information into the cell constant and temperature table. If you'd like to enter in multiple calibration sets for into your temperature table, you need to make sure that both of the data files are open. If you select both the indium and in this case the adamantane, the calibration button will become active again. You can select temperature cell constant calibration and you can see you, you get a, another analysis menu here which shows you how the results were analyzed for both adamantane and indium. Uh, if you'd like to see the data sets and how the software analyzes these, you just hit show, edit show details, and you can go to the various item that, that has been analyzed. When you're, when you're uh, ready to apply this to your instrument, you just say save and apply, and the information will be transferred into your temperature calibration, cell constant, and temperature table here. Once you have that set, you're ready to run experiments.